Alright, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakak with Das. want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is it, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Why would you want to work all of them overtime hours, but you're not even guaranteed to get paid? Okay. It's the title of this lesson, okay? Because um, you know, so currently, you know, I'm at a you know a new job or whatever, and uh, at this job, um, a lot of people um keep on talking about yeah, this is a career, and um, you know, it's a training part to the to the job, and a lot of the people that are in the job. Keep on saying, well, uh, well um, I'm gonna put in a lot of overtime hours, man, just to try to, um, you know, get more money. You know, talking about coming in on their off days and stuff like that, and um, you know, that just through the spirit, you know, um, people are in the world, you know, I know that, but um, in my, from my perspective, I believe that that's all. You know, um, because, um, like I said, it's the title of this video, you're not even guaranteed that money, okay? Um, a man of the Lord would not be working no extreme overtime hours, you know, I'm talking about like putting 80 plus hours a week in, okay? Because that's just overkill, Okay? Now, you got to do what you got to do, okay? But at the end of the day, we're not, like like a lot of these people, you know, trying to build careers here and, um, you know, have some longevity here. Of course, you want, you got to live comfortable, you know? There's nothing nothing wrong with that. But to the point of giving your, your soul onto a job that will never be able to fully repay you, you know, for for your life's work, and they they um so busy trying to um get over on you and give you as less of money as as they can give you, you know, but just enough money to keep you around. Okay. Um, and 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 they'll uh let you go, you know, at 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 a heartbeat, man. Okay, this is Isaiah 5 and 11. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, right? Woe means destruction. That they may follow strong drink. Okay, because you might have some people out here, they, they wake up super early in the morning, okay? With the intentions of going to work and putting in 16-hour work days, Okay? It says that continue and until night to wine and flame them. After they put in that 16 hour work day, they go go home, get some sleep. And um in their mind, they just thinking, oh, I'm I can't I know I'm gonna get a big fat check, man. But the whole time you working all them hours, okay, you you getting big and everything, man. You know, you 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 gaining weight. Because it's really not not much unless you make it food. You got a woman that at home that's cooking. But if you put in all them 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 um times, you know, chances are you know ain't no woman gonna gonna unless if she is with you, she probably gonna end up cheating on you, you know, because you ain't she gonna say you you're not giving me any time, and then guess what? She gonna end up you know if you end up getting married, you wanna work all this time to get a a a, a whatever. You know, just the whole bullshit that, that comes with America, man. Okay? So it says destruction onto you. Okay? Because you so, you're so busy going after the ways of America. Okay? Trying to follow after this bullshit that they call money. You know? Rather than going after Yahweh Yahusha, which a lot of you people don't even know who that is. You know, this is Proverbs 27 and 1. Boast not 
thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. You may sit up there and, and put in all this this time, okay, and then something may happen to you the next day. You the next day you might end up getting put to death. Now where all that money that you just worked for go, gone to? You know. This is Haggai one and six. You have sown much. You put in all these hours. You got a lot of people that um at jobs which I you know if that's your thing then that's your thing but I've never been the type of person that you know waiting to, to, to punch out you know sitting there waiting you know a couple uh, seconds to, to punch out you know because the people people actually think um every penny counts I don't even I don't even accept pennies man you know like that's how that's how bullshit uh this money is, you know? All this uh loose change, you know, all of that stuff is, is really bullshit, you know, scrambling for, for, for nickels and dimes and shit. You know, and then you got people all right, while well, they ass up. Yeah, but you don't know what that what, what tomorrow may bring, you know. It's just uh you, you sown much and bring in little. So you putting all this time in for for a little bit of ass money, okay? It says uh, you eat, but you have not enough. So whatever money, let's say you putting in all this money to go, uh, you know, go food shopping, the food that you just put put you know bought, it's not enough food, man. And then you eat it, and you're not even hung. You're not even uh, you're still hungry. You're not full. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. What they, with these jobs, they got what vending machines, okay? Whereas though you might go to a store, might get a dollar bottle of water or something like that, which that's not going to fill you up or anything like that. But inside them them jobs, what they got them vending machines and the prices at them vending machines is crazy. And your job may be in an area where you can't even go outside. You know, ain't no nowhere to go get uh, anything to eat or, or, or drink from. Everything that's around there is trash. Okay, it says, uh, you clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that, uh, or, or you buy this, this stuff and it, it's, you know, it may look like it's some expensive stuff, but, or, or, or good quality, but it, it ended up being some cheap bull crap, man. It says, and he that earns wages earns wages to put it in a bag with holes so all you doing is just using that money with the intentions of just spending it but that money okay that you spending you just going you just putting all that money back into Esau's pockets okay which Esau is the so-called white man okay and that's what Deuteronomy 28 and um 48, therefore you shall serve, and this goes to you Israelites, I'm not talking about to these, these Edomites, you know, these so-called white people, y'all put in all the overtime that y'all want, man, hey, in the kingdom, y'all gonna get that, them overtime hours, man, you know, excuse me, it says, therefore shall you serve your enemies, which the Lord shall send against you, and hunger, that's that food, and, and thirst, and the nakedness, the clothes, and in want of all things, everything that you want. You got to go through the so-called white man to, to get. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck till he have destroyed you. Okay, and this, you know, happened back in, in slavery, but it's still going today. You know, because the so-called white man is destroying you. You don't you don't work, you don't eat. Okay? And he fooled y'all into thinking, okay, well, you work, you get time and a half, and... You know, you, you, you could kill them. But guess what? That dollar bill is about to collapse, man. You know, this is the mindset that, you know, a man of the Lord should have. Proverbs 30 and 8. Remove far from me vanity. Okay? Which that goes into the word worthlessness. Okay? Okay, and... um. 
I believe that's uh, Sabah. Okay. Which means emptiness, vanity, falsehood, nothingness, emptiness of speech, lying, worthlessness. Okay. So you end up going to go uh, put in all this overtime hours for, for, for nothing but lies. For nothing. You know. For, for, for trash. You know. All that. Let's say you go... You know, buy some Jordans. You know that that that's nothing. And you know, that's trash. Okay? You wanna go get fresh. That's that's that vanity. You wanna get your woman a ring and you know. Now if you doing it to, to, to get things that you know that that are are needed, then there's nothing wrong with that, you know? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, you know? If you're handling your business and you got to put in some over overtime hours to handle some stuff, but you really have some people out here that want to go and put in super massive hours, you know, for, for, for lies, okay? It says, give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me, okay? So a man of the Lord wouldn't want to be you know straight up broke so you got to work and you don't want to have all this extra money right it says lest I be full and deny you and say who is the Lord you put in all that time okay or however long for your, your overtime you might end up being tired you know but the whole time while you're doing all that stuff your mind ain't on 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 your how about some y'all shot your mind ain't on, on doing what the Lord say. It says, Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of, of my God in vain. You know? And you start cursing, you know, the Lord, man. Okay? Or you, 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 you act like the Lord, you know, didn't put you in that situation for a reason. Okay? This is James 4 and 13. Go to now, you that say, to, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. And this is what a lot of women, you know, they got this mindset too. You know, they go to college and all this stuff and, um, you know, paying off their, you know, debt or whatever, you know, your case may be, you know. But just... The, the whole idea of living it up in America. It's what a lot of women, um, how they uh, carry that. So, you know, be wanting to leave from out of the city that they're in and go um, somewhere else. Or they always want to go go out and, um, you know, um, buy food and, you know, all these other different things. When you can easily just use that money and, 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 and sit at home and, and, and cook, man. Learn a meal or something like that, man. You know? They wanna they wanna go on vacations and stuff like that. You know? It says where where is you know not what shall be on tomorrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away because well, hey, you're gonna die one day. But these people, they had this mindset while we here. Yeah, we got to, we got to, you know, live it up. For that, you ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. So if it's the Lord's will, then we're going to be able to, 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 to eat or to drink or, you know, have some clothes. That's the mindset that you should have. Not, you know, putting away, put, putting in all this time to try to get this, this, this trash money. Okay, that's about to be um, done away with. Okay, so um, with that man, I want to say uh, Solomon.